Well, welcome back to Wappies AR, where we bring you the latest news and commentary on virtual reality tech and pop culture. And today's video is about Apple, who has been rumored to be working on an AR VR headset for the past several years now, actually. Ahead of its unveiling, there has been some skepticism surrounding the device's rumored $3,000 price tag and the lackluster performance of competing products from companies like Sony and Meta. However, at least one person testing the device has been pretty enthused about it, it sounds. Leaker Evan Blass claims to know a person who has had opportunities to demo the headset. According to Blast, the tester has gone from lamenting the underwhelming capabilities of the headset to being completely blown away by the experience and the hardware. The leap they've made since last year is giant, the Apple tester told Blast. I was so skeptical. Now I'm blown away in a take my money kind of way. Blast shared the details on his Twitter account, which is private by the way. Apple has been working to solve development issues with the design and software the AR VR headset, leading to multiple pushbacks of its debut. The company is now ready to preview it and is expected to do so at the Worldwide Developer Conference in June. Back in March, the New York Times reported that several Apple employees were skeptical about the headset's potential for success. The employees have questioned whether the headset is a solution in search of a problem and if it is driven by the very same clarity as other Apple devices. Apple CEO Tim Cook in April said that with everything the company has done, there has always been loads of skeptics. It comes with the territory of doing something that's on the edge, Cook said. The AR VR headset is expected to be similar to the Apple Watch in terms of early functionality. It will be expensive at over $3,000 and limited in usefulness to begin with. Apple plans to iterate on the headset over time with new models already in development. Design-wise, it is said to feature a sleek curved visor made with aluminum, glass, and carbon fiber, with Apple aiming to keep weight very, very low. The headset is equipped with more than a dozen cameras for mapping the area around the user, reading facial expressions, interpreting gestures, and more. In fact, it does not even have a battery built in, with the battery instead worn at the waist to prevent the headset from being too heavy. Apple is working on updating its apps for the device with a specific focus on communication and collaboration, television, sports, gaming, health, and fitness. So basically everything. Personally, I think XR has been waiting for Apple this whole time, just like Apple has been waiting for XR to mature. Because let's be honest, us here. VR is not setting the world on fire, not in its current iteration, and there have been reports that suggested that Apple was going to completely revamp its WWDC plans, and now there's reports that an actual human being has worn the thing, so this seems to pretty much indicate that they actually might be ready to release this thing. $3,000, I mean, I remember just a few months ago when a bunch of YouTubers were saying that this thing was expensive as all hell at $1,500. $3,000 for, I'm pretty sure, something that we're almost guaranteed is not even going to be working with Steam VR. I really don't think that gaming is the main focus here. My guess is that this is going to be sold like an iPhone and that this is going to be a subsidized headset through the carriers. Pretty sure that this headset is going to have 5G or cellular, what have you, built into it. It will basically be its own phone. In fact, I'm almost certain this thing's going to be called the iPhone. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you really just want to hear more nonsense from a man with far too much time on his hands talking about things like video games and Star Wars. Till next time, make it a great day.